Cool. So this is what we're going to be building today. Simple. Now, looking at something like this, I feel like it can be done for like a, a photography client, right? Where someone uh, does really nice headshots or, or family photos um, or fashion sh shoots or something like that. And this is like a very unique eye-catching homepage that takes up the whole screen. And so if the person did like four different types of uh, photography services, this would be it. Or maybe you can do this for e-commerce, maybe four different categories of products. I don't know. Uh, you can use this for a lot of things. But yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Oh, we got someone from Bangladesh. Nice. Belgium. Greece? Oh, this is awesome. Awesome. All right, let's get to it. Let me go here. Now, again, this is going to be a quick build. All right. So pay attention. Let's do this. I'm going to call this workshop. Okay, we're just going to start from scratch. I'm not going to use the same uh, class names as I did before. So let me give you the, the basic structure of this, all right? Uh, Bailey's already asking, this. It, will this be responsive or are you just doing desktop? I'm just doing desktop, but we can go into responsiveness and see where that takes us, all right? Uh, so let's go ahead and do this. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to drag in a section, okay? And I'm gonna call this the, the, the section, <laughs> I don't know. All right, and I'm going to give this a height of 100 VH, okay? Now, if you're not familiar with VH, that means viewport height. That takes up the whole height of the browser window, all right? And so, there we go. Now, I'm going to set this to flex, okay? Because I only want one row of four columns, and so that's all I have to do. Flexbox right there. And I want to make sure that the line is set to stretch. So whenever I put a div, it stretches the full height of its parent. Okay, so watch what happens. I'm going to drag in a div block, a basic div block. And see, it's the full height. I don't have to do height 100%. It's, it just stretches. Why? Because of this flex box right here on its parent saying stretch. Cool? Cool. Let's keep going. All right, with this div block, I'm going to call it um, page column. Okay, now with this page column, I'm going to set the width. Now, I'm not going to use expand. I'm not going to use grow if possible. I'm going to use a width of 25%. Okay, and now all I have to do is copy, paste it three times. One, two, three. There you go. And now I have four columns. One, two, three, four. Simple, simple, simple. Okay, and now... For each one, I'm going to put a different background, um, a different background photo. So I'm going to call this column one. I'm going to give it combo class of column one, and scroll down to my backgrounds. Give it an image. I'm going to choose this one right here. Set it to cover. I'm going to anchor it to the left. Okay, and yeah. Yeah, that's about it. Cool. All right. And now for this page column right here, simple, column two. So let's get all the photos in there. Okay. And by the way, these photos were from Unsplash. They have a lot of great photos for you to for to use for free. So if you haven't been to unsplash.com, go to it. All right, number four. Or no, number three, anchor it. And lastly, column four. And there you are. Anchor it. And there we go. All right. So we're already halfway done. All right. So now we just need that expanding thing. Okay. Now, again, you would think, oh, you probably have to use an interaction, like a mouse over interaction and then a mouse out interaction. No. It's super simple. It's just using CSS. Now, let me show you. If I go click here, so a lot of people don't know about this um, this button right here. If you click it, you can go to the parent selector, okay? So by clicking on here and then here, 
now I'm on the higher selector page column. I'm, I'm back to where I am uh, with uh, that that first class that I've set, right? Um, oh, wait, I can't do hover. All right, my bad, my bad. Let's go back. So I'm going to remove column one. There we go. And under states, I'm going to go to hover. And this one, this one, this part, I was like, confused about but i was like hey if it works it, it works and i think i did like 150 percent instead of 100 because watch what happens when i go 150 percent it pushes everything as much as it can you would think like 100 percent or something would go the full width of the page but no it just pushes as far as it can and i've tried 200 and i was like that looks that feels weird but i mean this is up to you how far you want to go but yeah, so hey, you know what? Let's try 300, see what happens. Let's, let's leave it like that, okay? Now I'm gonna go back to none. I'm gonna add my column one back, and there we go. So now it's actually done. Ooh, look at that. So we have the accordion effect. But hey, what about the animation? Well, that's simple too. Okay, we're gonna get to that. Okay. I'm going to remove this column again so I can target the, um, the page column. And we're going to go to transitions. And I'm going to set the transition to, where's my width? Hold on. There we go. Size width. All right. And I'm going to set this for something slower. Actually, let's do a different ease. Let's do one like ooh that's that's pretty fast let's do four something like that let's do quint court quad yeah let's do something like that okay all right so now we can actually see it happen Okay, and if we want to add the photo back, all we have to do is add the column one uh, combo class. But there we go. We have the and uh, we have the animation. We have the accordion effect right then and there. And now it's just up to you to add that that flavor, that flair, that style. You know, and one of the things I was thinking about is uh, what if it started as black and white and then went to color on hover. Really simple to do. All right, here we go. I'm gonna go down here to effects. I'm gonna add a filter. And this filter right here is going to be grayscale. Set that to 100. And then if I go to hover, I'm going to turn off the grayscale by hiding it. And I'm done. All right, let's put back the column one combo class. And there we go. Nothing to it. I think Neil is uh, telling me it's 100% for, for the column hover for 100% width is for one. You have four. Okay. So I guess I have to understand that more. Um, let's see here. Let's see here. Uh, any, any questions? Is there a way to style after or before without custom code? No, you, you have to use custom code. We don't have that yet. But... Yeah, yeah. So that's about it. And uh, you can go as far as you want with these. Uh, I know that I put numbers. If you go here to the home, I put numbers down here. And all I did was just position absolute at the bottom left. And then I just uh, put this on the bottom right, the column title. And I rotated it 90 degrees. You know, so very simple stuff. And if you missed it, don't worry, I'll clip, I'll clip just the, this part of the stream where I'm building this, but there you go.